Welcome back to the second issue of the day. The People's Democratic Party PDP Southwest Zonal, I mean Zonal Caretaker Committee has suspended its chairman, Dayo Ogunbenro, for negligence of duty, saying he has failed to call any meeting since he was appointed and to have effective media and publicity. The meeting appointed Larry Olayinka as the spokesperson for the PDP and the Southwest Zone. Joining us to discuss the intricacies that played out is the name I just mentioned, that is Larry Olayinka, to tell us what exactly played out. Good evening, Larry Olayinka. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, for, on, uh, for some critical minds, uh, they feel there is more to this press release that is just being read now, that um, this looks like escalating the crisis that has been in Southwest PDP. Or do you think this decision has calmed the nerves and brought the party together as one? Well, well let, me, let me first correct this impression that uh, there is crisis. The crisis that the media or whatever the public has been trying to also create, that, that does not exist. There is no crisis in PDP in the Southwest. There is no crisis. The PDP in the Southwest is one. And uh, just uh, don't, don't forget that in any family, be it political, religious, organization, organization or whatever, there will be divergent opinion, divergent view on issues. And that is what we're having in PDP in the Southwest. You see, we are in the Southwest, we are, we are, we are educated people. We are, we are people that, 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 that nobody can lord him or herself upon. So it is, there is no crisis in the Southwest, so to say. It is just a matter of but, people, people saying, oh, it's just like I'm in Abuja now. Maybe two of us here, we want to go to Lagos. One want to go through, through, uh, through Lokoja, Okene, Kaba. One want to go through Niger, Ilori, Ogomo, Shaw, and all that, and get to Lagos. What is important is for us to get to Lagos. There's no crisis. Okay, for the sake of this conversation, maybe I will avoid the word crisis. <laughs> but what will make a group suspend a old zonal chairman for what you call not calling for meetings when we know we are still in the COVID era? What will make a group to suspend? And from the full release, we understand that they were being accused of patronizing the governor of your state, and you don't want to call it crisis? Let's choose another yes. word. The, 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 the issue is this. The, the, the issue is this. The former, the, the suspended uh, zona, care, the zona caretaker chairman, is it, is it when you have a group of uh, a, a, a committee made up of 12 people, appointed not not yesterday not last week not not last month not two months ago not three months ago and there has not been any meeting be it physical or virtual meeting you are, you, you have mentioned covid 19 now even during covid 19 the, 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 the people people were holding meeting people were holding meeting zoom meeting everywhere the federal executive council was holding meeting the national Work committee of the pdp was holding meetings so we had election in, in Nondo, we had election, we had we had two elections in, in Lagos. There was nowhere the former, the, the, the suspended zona caretaker chairman called the, the, the other members. Oh, my members, let us let us meet and ruminate over what over this this how, how should we go about this election? There was nothing like that. So a party that a party that is in the opposition cannot be cannot be run like that. A party in the opposition must be active 24-7. It should be per second activities. So you cannot hold the party down. And that is what, that is what the caretaker, it is a committee. And you should also, okay. you should also, you should also understand that word, a committee. Another, committee is about, is about many people. Okay, Larry, another issue raised in that gathering is, uh, you know, not identifying the Oyinlola Reconciliation Committee. And this, to me, suggests that we are festering the infighting. If a committee has been set up to reconcile the warring parties, and you are disowning them. I want to believe... Let me also correct the one impression that you are also trying to create. I'm reading on your screen that Southwest PDP, Oyinlola Reconciliation Committee, disowned. You cannot, you, can, you, you cannot dissolve or discontinue what does not exist. Hmm. You understand? 
when you are going about saying you are my you are you are my you are my you are my father and you are not my father you are just wasting your time and that is that that is what is happening there was no because it is it is the it is the caretaker committee that can set up committee for the zone and if the caretaker committee don't meet at that time why will you how will you now how did they now come about that committee you see, uh, Prince Oyinlola, we respect him so much. He, he was, he, he's, he's one of our leaders and all that. But there should be also limitation to, 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 to how we want to, we want to, want to pursue certain agenda, certain position. You understand? So that is why the, the committee was never set up in the first instance. And that is, and, and that is what the, the, the Zona Working Committee has said, that anybody called to any meet in Southwest, any, the, 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 the uh, in the meeting that was held, that led, that was held in Ibadan on Sunday, the chairman of Oyo, uh, chairman of Ogun, Lagos, uh, Ekiti, and also were in meeting. Seven out of the five, out of the twelve caretaker committee members were in that meeting. So in that, in that you can you you can, you can do your own mathematics and come to uh, and come to the conclusion that seven people out of twelve. We also be able to, to, to form the majority to take the turn. Four chairmen out of out of six will be able to sit together and take the issue so that, so, that, so that the party can move forward. There is a reconciliation committee set up, duly set up by the by the Southwest Caretaker Committee. And that committee is headed by Engineer Fem Babalola. There are other members of the committee. The, the secretary of the committee is Prince Daniel Odeyemi, who is the deputy national public secretary of the party. Okay, Mr. Larry, I asked a question, and I guess uh, maybe because you were trying to correct the first part, uh, you have not answered that question. I'm saying that this new arrangement, how does it resolve some kind of differences? I'm choosing my word deliberately now, since you don't want to use the word crisis. How does it resolve? I'm aware. When there you start there mentioning, be, excuse me, it, I, I will allow you to respond. There will continue to be differences in the party. Sorry, I will allow you to respond. Mm. Let me give you my background. I understand that here in Lagos, okay. when you have uh, engineer Dohati at a meeting, you also know that here in Lagos, there are factions who recognize that, excuse me, you can't take decision on our behalf. So these are, in, including your state, AKT, we have two factions there. And now there seems to be what I can, but, what but, people are calling but, a but, coup to just find a way I, of... Can, you know, getting them can off I, and can get, okay, can go I, ahead now. Can, can I educate you? Can I educate you on this issue? I don't know whether you want to educate me, but you can uh, respond you, you to my question. You mentioned Lagos. That this in Lagos. Okay, okay. In, in Lagos, respond. in Lagos, is there any other person laying claim to the chairmanship of the party in Lagos? Not at all. Is, is there any other person apart from Engineer Dejidwati? Is there any other person laying claim to being chairman of the party in Lagos? But are you There's aware no the publicity person. secretary? So he's the chairman. He's the chairman of the party in Lagos, and he takes decision. The publicity secretary of the party. You see, the chairman is a chairman. The public secretary. Is the, 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 the Sorry, chairman let, has a let role me put to my play. question in perspective. Public secretary has a role to play. Larry the chairman Alainka. is the custodian of the party. Larry and, Alainka, I, I, I'm not. And in a kitty that you mentioned. Sorry, I'm going to allow you to respond, but get my question within this perspective. I'm with you. I'm saying that there are infighting in your party. Okay. So how will this committee calm nerves and come out as a strong opposition that you said the party is meant to be playing rather than further, you know, infighting being festered here? That's what I'm that, saying. That is what I've said. Well, well, that is what I've said. I've explained to you that there is a regulation committee headed by engineer Femi Babalola. Engineer Femi Babalola is, is also from your state. So you should understand. Okay. When people want to say, okay, oh, there is, there is difference, there, there is a kind of difference between this first group and, and, a group, and another group headed by, by let's say, Governor Shima Kindi. But I just mentioned the name of the chairman of the reconciliation committee now. He's from your state. So they are going to they are going to also call people. They are going to reconcile people, talk to people, and they have started work. And I'm, I'm hopeful. Is it the reason I the, the reason I disagree with you the other time concerning this issue of uh, crisis that 
In any political party, there must be differences. I, I have told, told people, I, I said it on a radio station yesterday, there is a Sona Convention Congress coming up. If the Sona Conven Congress is coming up, you should know that there will be, there will be different uh, positions. Where if I, so one, one side might be supporting Mr. A to be Sona chairman, another side may be supporting Mr. B to be Sona chairman. As of today, there are people who are supporting Dr. Edi Olafeso to be chairman. There are people who are supporting Senator Ose Agwala to be chairman. Maybe tomorrow, somebody will also come up and say he's supporting me to be chairman. Another person can also come up tomorrow, to, uh, next tomorrow, and say he's supporting another person for chairman. So what we resolve this is when we have a Congress, where election will be, where, 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 where people will be elected as executive of the party in the zone, that will, be, that will resolve all issues. And like, I, like it has been said, whoever that, whoever that emerges as the chairman is the person all of us will line up behind if tomorrow, if, if the Congress is, is fixed for tomorrow, and Dr. Eleo Adio Lafeso emerges as the chairman, all of us will kill behind him. If tomorrow, if, if, if Senator Osi Agbola becomes the chairman, all of us will kill behind him. Okay. And that is just it. The issue is this. There, there, is, there is struggle for power in the party, and you can't rule that out. It is normal in a political setting. There is struggle for power. This one wants to be Zona chairman, so people are supporting him. Other people want to be Zona chairman, so people are supporting that person. So it will be like that until that Congress is held. People, people will match as, as either secretary, chairman, okay. or whatever, whatever. And all of us will come together and, 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 and focus, respond to issues as one big family. Okay. We have a big family. I... I, I, want to, I don't want to sound like a, a, a prophet of doom to say that I would love to quote you in the days to come when the Congress will be held. And I will expect that when we have the final one, we are not going to have a divided house. Everybody will come behind and support him. That's the word of Lirio Lainka. I'm afraid our time is gone for us to continue this conversation. Definitely. It was quite short, but quite uh, insightful. Thank you for your position as the spokesperson of that uh, committee. Maybe in days to come, we might also hear from other camp, if they exist, to also hear them out on this issue. Thank you so much. Let's quickly take a breather. <laughs> You're and, welcome. And when we return, I'll be giving you my take on the first discussion that was held. Please don't go anywhere. Here is my take. What a revelation from Kanu State Governor on the reason for the sack of the traditional ruler. Mm. For those of us who have good memory, the circumstance leading to his enthronement is indeed controversial, judging from the fact that he was suspended by former President Goodluck Jonathan as CBN governor. What is laughable and obviously ironical is the fact that the opposition APC Deng, which the governor was then a deputy governor of Kanu State, celebrated his bravery against the PDP-led federal government, is now throwing tantrums that he emulated good luck Jonathan. One thing is obvious and re-echoed again. There is no permanent friend nor permanent enemy in politics, only permanent interest. Just few questions for Governor Ganduje before I go. Since this is one of the reasons that he has adduced, can we confirm other reasons out there too in times of perception? Didn't the SAC have anything to do with his fight with Governor Kwan Kwan so, the former Governor Kwan Kwan so? Or is the Emir not being punished for sticking to his benefactor, the former Governor Rabiu Kwan Kwan so? Maybe this is the definition of abuse of power. In days to come, I do hope We'll get more clarity to rest this part of history in Kanu Emirate. And this is how far we can go on today's edition of Plus Politics. Plus Politics returns tomorrow, same time, same station. I am Coyote Ladeinde, saying bye for now.